This is going to be part of another little mini series and the focus is going to be building your intranet with uh, with SharePoint. I've definitely written a lot about this, but I think doing a little series will help everyone to go from uh, zero to euro in no time. I'm planning to do this in 21 sessions. So 21 times like approximately five minutes is what, just over 100 minutes. So uh, so let's see if we can do this under two hours, okay. And uh, the first thing I want to do, of course, is to build my SharePoint site. So I'm gonna go to office.com, I'm gonna click on SharePoint, it's gonna open my SharePoint homepage. I always joke about this page when uh, when I go there with clients and uh, and it's because I say that it looks like uh, Monopoly house cards to me. I don't know, they're just uh, stuck in my head. So when I'm on the SharePoint homepage, you'll see that there's create a site there at the top. When I click on create a site, I have two options. I have a team site that I can create or I have a communication site. Team sites have a left navigation and it's created with an Office 365 group. Communication sites is those cool new pretty looking sites and uh, they um, don't have an Office 365 group linked to them and they also don't have a left navigation. So communication site templates are perfect for creating intranets. So let's go and do that. What are we gonna call this? Let's just think about that for a moment. Well, that took me about 10 minutes to think about the name and I've decided that we are gonna call this intranet of our company the nerve center <laughs> it's gonna upset a couple of people so the nerve center that's just happened and uh, that's gonna be my uh, company intranet so I'm gonna just put a little note in there company intranet I'm not spelling so great there we go and then we're gonna go 1001 1002 or <laughs> four seconds What's going to beat that? There we go. Site collection build. The nerve center is up and running. So if I look at this, it builds a standard communication site template. And I've chosen the topic um, um, layout, which is this one with uh, the five blocks, which is the Euro web part. But of course, we can change this. So um, if I had to look at that, the other type of topics you get, or topics, template you get, is the showcase template. And the showcase template actually looks like this, which means I can change this one. If I here on the left go and I say I want to edit this, do you see that it's got tiles and layers? Tiles is this Euro web part, which I absolutely love. Layers is the staggered type of approach. So that works better for other types of sites. I don't really want to use that for my um, intranet, landing page but that could be a very cool sub page um, that I could have on my intranet to surface some cool um, communication and things or um, to showcase products or things that's happened so that could be a cool idea I'm going to stick to tiles which is my hero web part and um, and then we'll also see that when I've built a template it includes a couple of things by default so if I on my nerve center, <laughs> that's actually painful if I think of it. If I go to uh, site contents, I can then in the background see that um, it's brought out my site pages, which is where my pages of my site lies. It's got events, which I actually use from the front page. And uh, of course, it's going to have news as well, which is included in my site pages, um, which we'll use from the front landing page. And then by default, it's got the document library as well. So to navigate back um, to the nerve center, home page and that's how quickly it is to just build this communication site template and um, so then of course what we are going to get up to in the next video clip let's take a look at see what we want to cover so uh, there's lots of cool things that I want to build on this intranet it's going to be document libraries and FAQs and a gallery and some lookup lists and we're going to create templates for departments nice pages and then we're going to modify the home page and add some really, really cool web parts. So first little step for you is to just go and create um, that new uh, communication site. Uh, come up with a good name. Of course, you can rename it afterwards, but uh, come up with a good name that uh, that sticks with the company and it's something that the company can align to. And then, uh, and then we're going to take another 20 steps and we're going to build this intranet together. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do this on your own without... Uh, doing serious uh, customizations or getting complicated about this. So uh, catch, uh, catch up with you guys soon and start getting all that content together. And, uh, and then we'll, we'll chat soon.